In this quick demonstration, I'll show you how to find the intervals where a function is satisfied using inequalities. The question reads, on what intervals is the equation x, bracket x plus 2, bracket x minus 5, is less than 0 satisfied? Now luckily for us, the left side of this equation is already factored. So what we can do to find out the x's, which will also serve as our critical points, is to solve for x. Now how do we do that? Well, pretend that this is x is equal to 0. Pretend that this part right here, x plus 2, is equal to 0. And pretend this part right here, x minus 5, is equal to 0. Now for this one, we already know that x is equal to 0. For this one, if we solve for x, we get x is equal to negative 2. And for this, if we solve for x, we get x is equal to 5. So our critical points for question number 1 are 0, negative 2, and 5. Now since we have three critical points, that means we have four intervals. The intervals will be starting from lowest to highest, negative 2, 0, and 5. And this will lead us to x is less than negative 2, x is between negative 2 and 0, x is between 0 and positive 5, and finally, x must be greater than 5. So these are the four intervals that we will be focusing on to see where this equation is satisfied. In our next step, what we will do is apply numbers that are within these restrictions into our equation to see if we end up with a positive or negative number. Let me rearrange this so that we can see it clear. Bring that here, make it smaller. So if we choose a number that is less than negative 2 and we apply it to this equation, let's pretend we choose negative 3. Negative 3 bracket negative 3 plus 2 bracket negative 3 minus 5 will always give you a negative number. Next, let's focus on this restriction between negative 2 and 0. If we choose a number between negative 2 and 0 and apply it into our equation, let's pretend we choose negative 1, you will always get a positive number. So I'm just going to put a plus here to signify that. If I choose a number between 0 and 5 and plug it into here, I'll get a negative number. And you can confirm that by choosing any number between 0 and 5 using your calculator. And finally, choosing a number greater than 5 will also give you a positive number. So the question asks, on what interval is this less than 0? We'll take a look. It was only between x is less than negative 2 and x between 0 and 5 where this inequality is satisfied. In question number two, we'll try a similar example. Question number two asks, on what interval is x, bracket x plus 3, bracket x minus 4, less than 0? Once again, we'll start off by finding the critical points by solving for x. We'll end up with x is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 3, and x is equal to positive 4. Now, if you're confused on how I pick these numbers, refer back to question number one, and I show you. The next step is to write out our intervals. Now our intervals need to be from smallest to largest. So x must be less than negative 3. x must be between 0 and negative 3. x between 0 and positive 4. And lastly, x greater than 4. So let's find out what happens when we choose numbers that fit these intervals. If you choose a number that is less than negative 3, you'll end up with a negative answer. In other words, if I chose negative 5, plug it into here, into here, and into here, I would end up with a negative number, and any number less than negative 3. Similarly, if I choose a number between negative 3 and 0, I get a positive. Between 0 and 4, I get a negative. And anything greater than 4, I get another positive number. So they're asking us, when is this equation less than 0? Well, it's less than 0 when you have anything less than negative 3 and anything between 0 and 4. So there you have it. That is how to find the intervals where a function is satisfied using inequalities. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.